Welcome back to EA Sports. The building is buzzing. James Sabalski here on the mic. I'm ready to go. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. Great night for hockey, and period number one is underway. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Fires it and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Oh, the bench gets such a boost when he scores, so that's such a timely stop by the goaltender. Doesn't allow any energy to be created. And look at this. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Quick pass to Quarles. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, lays out for the block. Wow. Moves it to the middle. And another pass. Up along the wing. Oh, a... yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. And ding, ding, it's all over. Yeah, the bell has rung, and he certainly got his dung. Coming off a heated battle like that, it's important to allow those emotions to just simmer so they can cool off in the penalty box for five minutes, get some rest and some water. Well, it looks as though the tensions have finally simmered and we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for. Hockey! Smart defensive play there. Oklahoma City's got the puck here in the open ice. Takes the feed at center. Moves it quickly over to Cox. Scooped up along the wall by McDonald. Handles the puck. Shuts the door with a great save. Man, James, does he ever look shaken up after that huge hit? I mean, I'm not sure if he got winded or if he's injured, but he's trying to make his way back to the bench. Gets in the lane with the body. And this one has really put the pressure on now. And it's picked up by the D. Scoops up the puck. And it's picked up by the D. The D picks it up, but they are still under pressure. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. McDonald's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Utah's fan and the shooter will trip to the ice for the first time tonight. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Oklahoma City's got possession while undermanned. Looking to set up offensively. Moves it to Miller. Gaining momentum up along the side. An attempt to cut the puck from deep inside his own end. Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. And that'll do it after that one. Got to know who you're fighting. And he landed a perfect one right there and took him down. You try to get your team going. Sometimes the fight is what happens, and this is exactly it. But the winner is going to the home team. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he takes a shot, and he makes a save there. Clearing attempt. Blows him up on that hit. Here we go, Cheryl. They're going to go. No one can take liberties with your star players. You have to protect them. And when you send an enforcer out there, you're sending a message not only to the team you're playing now, but the teams you're going to play in the future. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. They make their way over to the penalty box, still chirping one another. You can see that it was testy out there, but they'll go back to the box and they'll sit for five. Farron's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Oklahoma, Oklahoma City's won the draw. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. 
And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Quarles is going to continue to fight through this shift, James, but there is something bothering him. He just doesn't look right. Oh, excellent play and goal there. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. They'll look to keep up the attack here on the power play. Let's set up more rapid fire against the goaltender who's already tired. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. On the run! Utah's finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. Quarles has it in the defensive end. Great reach with the stick by Lundqvist. Moves it to Kearns. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Players love to drive the paint and in and around it, like a nose for the net. You have to have a knack for it, but you also have to have a knack for staying out of the goalie's way. He makes contact with the goaltender, and guess what? That's gonna be a call. Oklahoma City sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, in a one goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Oklahoma City's got a hold of it along the wall. Broken up at center. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Takes the feed at the point. And that goes off course wide. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and they try and get a little too cute. And that's a... He's got a step. Makes the save. Scores! What a finish in all the Well, it isn't easy to score against these tenders, in particular in these one-on-one -on -one battles. But he fakes and is able to bury it in the back of the net. Utah's extended their lead to two here in the late stage of this opening frame. What a period. Yeah, an incredible period. They've had momentum, and they've really held possession in the play. They've worked hard on the puck and to be supportive off the puck. And it's the reason why they generated opportunities, James. They just need to come out with that same fire in the second. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance. He scores! What a goal! going to keep him out of the game, James. He just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this, Yeah. don't like seeing that at all. From the open ice, they gain the line. Coral setting up against the wall. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a shot! Denies him with the pad! And he hangs on! Big save! Just as time runs out! And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Clean sheet of ice. Period two is set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Blues are being rewarded for getting pucks and funneling them through to the net, James. They're not on the perimeter. They're looking to attack. Delayed penalty coming up here. Well, the officials aren't going to stand for the reckless behavior and automatically give them a game misconduct. He's going to hit the showers for the night. big part of this team's offense, guys. They're trailing at the moment, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get things going. 
Dogs won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Moves the puck down low. Utah's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And he lays him out with that collision. In all alone, on the breakaway! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Armstrong's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Takes the pass. Now a quick pass to Armstrong. Moves the puck into the D zone. Summer and And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Cox is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. Oklahoma City's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Back to the blue line. He looks deep to Dubois. Utah's got the puck along the wall. Big stick saved by the goaltender. He's the one that you want to have the puck on your stick. He's the leader in the room. He's the leader on the ice. He just doesn't get it done this time. Denies him again. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Here's a short pass to O'Neal. Here's a pass in front. And that's stopped. Oklahoma City's got the puck. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Utah's ready to go on the attack. Oklahoma City's got the puck in their own end. And he takes the dish. And he slides it quickly to Cox. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Oklahoma City's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck. Sends it to the middle. He scores! What a play! Oklahoma City's been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James, to be able to get the equalizer. You can see the excitement on the bench. That's gonna provide a lot of energy in the second period. And sends it just out of reach. Quick feed to Larry. Driving right to the front! Denies the shooter on that play. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Larry's crossed the line and gained the zone. Denies him! And he makes that save as well. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. And he loses control here. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Fires it on net. Takes a shot. Oh, what a close save there. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. That's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game, and preparation is key, otherwise things like this happen. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Miller. Minutes, 18 seconds. Moves into the slot. He scores! And does he ever... You know it's amazing, James? Every time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. Utah's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. That opportunity is rejected. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. from the slot and cobble 
Pulls that one up in his chest. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a little body contact on that play. And that was stopped. Well, he's really feeling a play from earlier on the shift, James, and now he's win- Breakaway! Denied on the breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Let's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. Bell's got it in the defensive end. Kearns is now standing, ready to get back on the ice. And he can't hang on after that hit. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal in that power play. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Here he is with the backhander! Great reflex on... Oh my goodness, it stayed out! What a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. And it's a quick pass to Cole. Here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Over to the penalty box they go, James, and they'll get some much-needed rest. Well, it's going to be five minutes. They can get some water and relax. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. Oklahoma City's taking possession in their own end. Lundqvist gained the line and on the attack. Makes the save. Quick pass to Kearns. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Oklahoma City's got a hold of the puck. Delayed penalty looming. Yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. And drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed and a tough one on the other end. Well, bye bye to both these guys here after that. You can certainly feel the energy in the building and the officials will feel it as well. And they've got to maintain control here and it's the reason these guys just got ejected. Utah's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Offense is on base off and he wins the draw. Kicked away. Nice pad save by the goaltender. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Moves it quickly over to Levec. Utah's got the puck against the boards. Answers the call on that play. And the puck departs the zone. Point shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Craig's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in his save percentage is an indicator of it. And he's able to handle that one. Sometimes goaltend... They score! Well, how about that? A good defense translates to two and even better offense. It's amazing how a PK can deflate or inflate, and that's an inflator. When you get a shorthanded goal, you know that you switch the momentum. Armstrong side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Here's a shot! Oh, how's that for killing a penalty? That's turning a PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. You have time and space. Take advantage with the shorty. The 
Blues are showing no signs of slowing down, and here we are in the late stages of period number two. They continue to hit down the accelerator. Yeah, and the coach must be loving this. I mean, sometimes you can't put your finger on exactly why it's working the way it is, but the chemistry is off the charts here, and they've got a comfortable lead. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Puck grab by Miller. Oklahoma City's got possession here in the neutral zone. Oh, and he misfires on that. Great save from in tight. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Over the line they come. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Second period. And now he angles it across to Glenn. Headman pass. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Oh. Oklahoma City's got it in their own zone. Oh, and he whiffs. The Blues get a hold of the puck under man. Solid check to slow him down. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. Oklahoma City's won the opening draw and their power play rolls on. From the point, looks to make something happen. Sends one up to Larry. Utah's got the puck against the half wall. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Feeds it down low. Great defensive effort with the stick. Utah's got it along the wall. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Handles the pass. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Hyde. Krause is up and ready to go. Oklahoma City's got the puck in the defensive end. Disappointing power play effort as they serve up a shorthanded goal, but both teams now back to even strength. I didn't like anything about that power play, James, and I'll tell you who else didn't. The coach and... All alone! Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Utah's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Oklahoma City's got the puck inside the offensive zone. To the crease. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one on one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Utah's got it into the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Nice zone entry from the left. Handles it along the blue line. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Rocked on the play. Can't connect. Hammers it on net. Fantastic save. He's the emotional leader of this team, and he typically scores in this type of situation. But the goaltender shuts the door, and that's key because he's an emotional leader. And you knew if he scored, he was going to generate a ton of energy for his team. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Oklahoma City's got it in the neutral zone. Puts it away. Scores! Oh, what a finish! Too sweet! Well, the reaction on the bench, it says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader who provides a ton of energy to this group. The timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, and encapsulates what he means to this team. And they win that draw at center. Good hit on the play. And he makes the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Utah's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Blues win it. 
Oklahoma City's got the puck along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Here's a short pass to Farron. Utah's, here we go, two on one. Cutting to the net, makes the save. Ho, how did that stay out? Well past the midway mark of this period. Oklahoma City still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Farron's won a big draw on their own end. Quick feed to Culp. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we, and just go with the goal calls. And he slides it quickly to Rizzo. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Craig's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Here in the late goings of the period, Utah's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Lundqvist slugging the puck. Shot, and that goes off a player. Quick pass to Culp. Now he takes it over the line. I like this play, James. When you're leading late in the game, you make good blue line decisions. That's what we used to call them anyway. And you put the puck in deep and you just kill some valuable time. Oklahoma City's got possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Got to find a way to get back into this one as they trail the extra attackers on the ice. Great hand eye to knock the puck down. Utah's ahead in this game because of their layered approach, and you can only have a layered approach when you have three lines that are firing, and in particular, the... Towards the game, in! Storms into the empty net! Counter, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah, and listen, I was on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out, <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Utah's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. And now it's grabbed by Bell. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. I've seen from the team all season. Yeah, they held the puck and they had possession time, and what they did with that was really effective. They hold it in small spaces, draw the coverage to them, open up a lane, and it was off to the races. What a game, what an atmosphere, and they're not done just yet. Here they come back out onto the ice. Oh, listen to it in here. I mean, it's electric. They just love what they 